Jeez, has everyone been on this show? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stars who appeared on ER before they were famous. No. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at celebrities who appeared on ER in small or minor roles, so no mains or leads like good old Clooney, before getting their big break and becoming household names. Are you okay, Daddy? Yeah, it's just a little cut. They're gonna fix me up. I had to take just once. It's not bad. Number 10, Julie Bowen. I can say one good thing about Lucy. She's not here. ER was by no means Julie Bowen's first role. She had appeared in numerous TV shows and movies, including Happy Gilmore, before landing the role of Roxanne Please in 1998. Have you heard anything that I've just been saying? That said, hers wasn't exactly a household name. Luckily, her career took off after her nine-episode stint on ER. Come on, get on the boat. She landed the role of Carol Vesey on Ed and later played Denise Bauer on Boston Legal. Tim. You, uh, you got a second? Actually, no. She truly became a mainstream star in 2009 when she landed the role of Claire on Modern Family. Co-star? It is, it really is. Yeah. It's in there pretty darn good. Yeah. Her Modern Family co-star, Eric Stone Street, also appeared on ER, playing Willie in the episode, Mars Attacks. But I'm not, I'm not crazy. You mutilated yourself with kitchen shears. Number nine, Lucy Liu. This one from two weeks ago, and this one from yesterday. Before she was a ferocious lawyer, an ass-kicking angel, queen of Tokyo's underworld, and a brilliant eccentrics assistant, she was the mother of a young boy afflicted with AIDS. I'm Doug. He doesn't like doctors. Lou appeared for three episodes in 1995 playing Mei Sun, a substantial role after the likes of Coworker in Hotel Malibu and Woman Number no. 3 in Home Improvement. It's my fault he has AIDS. <laughs> To him. <laughs> Three years later, she landed the role of Ling Wu on Ally McBeal and was nominated for both an Emmy and a Screen Actors Guild Award for her performance. Look at me. Is my face not flawless? She then played Alex in Charlie's Angels and soon became one of Hollywood's leading ladies. Oh boy. She's going down. Number eight, Jessica Chastain. He can't talk anymore. He can't walk or move or anything. Jessica Chastain has certainly come a long way in a short time. ER was Chastain's first significant role, following a TV pilot called Dark Shadows that was never picked up. He used to be at an extended care facility, but I wanted him home with me. They showed me how to do everything. She played Dahlia Tazlitz in the episode Forgive and Forget, which aired in February of 2004. Do you think people get what they deserve? No, not really. In 2012, she was nominated for her first Academy Award for playing Celia Foote in The Help. I'm sorry. It's the first time I've hired a maid. <laughs> Come on! This was immediately followed by another Oscar-nominated performance as Maya in Zero Dark Thirty. She's now one of the most acclaimed actresses working in Hollywood. But the truth is, you don't understand Pakistan, and you don't know Al-Qaeda. Number seven, Anton Yelchin. As you know, the accident was pretty bad. The car was going really fast. The late Anton Yelchin may not have been as big as some of the other actors on this list, but he showed great promise and potential, and was quickly working his way up the ladder before his tragic death in June 2016. How long does the planet have? Minutes, sir. Minutes. He starred as Pavel Chekhov in the three early 21st century Star Trek films, and received critical acclaim for his work in Green Room and Thoroughbreds, among others. And it all started with ER. I want to see them. Yelchin was just a kid when he played Robbie Edelstein in the season six episode, Be Still My Heart. Just nine years later, he was in Star Trek. Based on Zinarada's course from Vulcan, I have projected that Nero will travel past Saturn. Like you said, we need to stay invisible to Nero or he'll destroy us. Number six, Zac Efron. Are you a nurse? Zac Efron is easily one of the biggest actors currently working in Hollywood. His big break came in 2006 when he played Troy Bolton in Disney's High School Musical. And he's followed this up with roles in Neighbors, Baywatch, and The Greatest Showman, among many, many others. Three years before High School Musical, he played unfortunate gunshot victim Bobby Neville in an episode of ER titled Dear Abby. 
What's your name? What's your name? Bobby. Okay, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> Although Bobby Neville didn't make it, Zac Efron continued on to become one of the decade's biggest stars. Miss Lynn. My name is Philip Carla. Number five, Ava Mendez. I found her on the bathroom floor and she had a bowel movement and there was that blood in it. I couldn't wake her up. Mendez's very first credited role was on ER. She played Donna, a babysitter who appeared in the fourth season episode Exodus. She's gonna be all right. She spent a few years on roles in minor productions like Children of the Corn 5 and Urban Legends Final Cut. Luckily, she got another break in 2001 playing Sarah in Training Day, a role that earned her an Alma Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress. I have cable. You watch whatever you want, okay? All right, thanks. This is your house. She followed this up with roles in blockbusters Too Fast, Too Furious, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico, which firmly established Mendez as strong leading lady material. I'm still mad at you. And trust me, it wasn't easy to get, so... Come closer now, thank you. Number four, Octavia Spencer. She said I'm pregnant. Is my baby okay? Jessica Chastain's The Help co-star Octavia Spencer also had minor roles on television before making it big. After credits like Job Counselor Number 1 in 413 Hope Street and Clerk in To Have and To Hold, she landed on ER, playing Maria Jones in the fifth season episode Hazed and Confused. Look, I just wanted to know if it was a boy or a girl. Ain't nothing wrong, so why worry about it? Wait, 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 wait. And like Chastain, she finally earned notice and acclaim with The Help, winning the accolade trifecta, an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and a BAFTA. I said, eat my shit. She followed this up with two more Oscar-nominated performances in Hidden Figures and The Shape of Water, making her the most nominated black actress in Academy history, alongside Viola Davis. If you look at this, look, some of the best minds in the country peeing all over the floor in this here facility. Number three, Nick Offerman. Sir, do you know anything about your best friend's wishes? He's, a, he's the best bass player I ever met. It's weird to think of funny man Nick Offerman being on a drama like ER, but there you have it. ER was Offerman's first credited appearance on television, playing Raj in the fourth season premiere, Ambush. Come on, don't let him die, give him the crazy thing! And despite continuing to work in both film and TV, it wouldn't be until 2009 that he would earn his big break on Parks and Recreation. Don't be such a baby, I cooked you some bacon for a trail snack. I ate it already. What? I could smell it in your purse before I even parked my car. And now it's gone and I hate everything. His Parks and Rec co-star Adam Scott also had one of his first roles on ER, playing David Kerstetter way back in the first season episode, Full Moon, Saturday Night. Is this hurt? None. No, my chest. Number two, Taraji P. Henson. Well, Dad said he heard Grandma turning over in her grave. All right, that's enough. Taraji P. Henson is a notable actress who's found success in both film and television. <laughs> She received acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for her performance in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and has received two Emmy nominations for her work as Cookie Lion in Empire. Now, let's talk business, shall we? Before earning her big break and critical acclaim, she appeared in two episodes of ER. Little toy gonna be crapping in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> she portrayed Patrice Robbins in the Season 4 episode of Past Regret and Future Fear, and Elaine in Season 5's Split Second. What you doing in here, Moselle? She's coming to see Lil Twan. Man, I don't think so. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Just here you have cancer. They're gonna chop off your penis. I'm sorry I said all that stuff. It's just... God, she just gets to me. Well, maybe my, my grades would be better if I wasn't playing hockey all the time. Number one, Chris Pine. Abby, Abby, it's okay. I can get to the bus station by myself. No, I'll take you. Chris Pine is now popular and respected enough that he can do just about anything. He can play a classic science fiction character in Star Trek. I'm coming with you. He can play a fairy tale prince in Into the Woods. He can play a down on his luck redneck criminal in Hell or High Water. And he can play a good old fashioned American hero in Wonder Woman. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah. However, that wasn't the case back in 2003 when he played Mr. Levine in ER's ninth season episode, A Thousand Cranes. Hey, Mr. Levine, what's your huh? problem? I just got drunk at a Valentine's Day party. I'm Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> yup, this was Pine's very first credited performance. We're all to blame. I'm not. 
but maybe I am. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.